Remembering 9-11, I remember when I got the news. I was a freshman at the University of Michigan in Ann Arbor, and I believe I was actually in one of my classes. I think it might have been Spanish class, but I'm not sure. Um, and I overheard, you know how you overhear some people talk? I overheard one of my classmates talking about the attack. And it kind of just, you know, I, it kind of kind of went over went in one ear and out the other, right? I didn't really register what he was talking about um, until after I left that class. And I think I, I went into one of the, uh, the lounges in the classroom building and I saw students planted in front of the TV in shock, hands over their mouth, glued, eyes glued to the television. I remember uh, seeing students calling their loved ones and saying, do, do you have the TV on? Can, are you seeing this? I remember hearing the panic in some of the students' voices as they called their loved ones, checking on their relatives that lived in New York and checking on people that they knew who actually worked in the World Trade Center. I remember walking back to my dorm and walking past rooms where, again, people, students, glued <laughs> to the TV. I remember turning on the TV and I just couldn't believe that this was happening here in the United States. And I remember just thinking like, this looks like footage from a TV, from a movie, right? From a movie. And I couldn't imagine, like I couldn't, I couldn't put myself in the shoes of these people who were on the plane, who knew that they were about to die and was scrambling to call their loved ones and trying to communicate in what, seconds, minutes maybe, how they felt, their love for the people that they've spent years with. I couldn't imagine, I couldn't think, I mean, what would it be like to know that you're about to die, that you only have seconds, maybe minutes left to live? And in your mind, you're thinking, did I say, do, do the people that I've spent years with, do they know how much I love them? I can't imagine uh, what they might have thought about, the dreams that they had that they didn't fulfill, the lives that they wanted to touch but they haven't, hadn't yet. Um, as we remember 9-11, look, here on the MLM Fast Art Channel, you know every single day I share tips, I share business strategies, I share marketing ideas. But I'm doing this video today to hopefully remind you of why we're doing what we're doing, our greater purpose behind this. Yeah, we want to sell products. Yes, we want to make money and live a life of freedom. But at the end of the day, our life is fleeting. Our life is but a vapor. I remember um, in my daily devotional time, uh, reading the Word of God, reading the Bible, um, a couple of days ago, I read uh, Psalm 90. I'm going through the book of Psalms. And in Psalm 90, verse 12, um, Moses shares and says to God, teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Wisdom comes from living and knowing and acting and behaving and living in such a way where you know that your life is fleeting, that your days are numbered, that we don't have forever, we don't have all day, we don't have every day, we don't have for the rest of our lives we have our time here on earth and it goes by very quickly and we don't know when our last day may be so in remembering 9-11 um, I hope that we reflect and we remember and we use this opportunity use this this tragedy um, to help us gain wisdom to help us say the things that we need to say to our loved ones while we have the opportunity, while we have the days, while we have the chance now. I hope that this allows us to see, to act with wisdom in our marketing, in our businesses every single day, that you know what, what we have, what you may have in your products and your business opportunity can actually impact the lives and transform and change the lives of other people. And if you keep putting off for tomorrow what you could do today to reach those people you're not acting wisely our life 
is fleeting. Our life is but a vapor. And I hope that the memories of those individuals who lost their lives that day help us to gain ours in the moment, to gain ours today, so that we may gain wisdom in how we live and how we behave and how we act. Um, I hope that we don't let their lives go in vain, that we use our lives in service to other people. So in remembering 9-11, remember this. Your life is fleeting and you want to live your life, not, and you don't want to end your life with regrets, but you want to end your life with gratitude, with knowing that you served and you lived out the numbered days that you had here left to serve, that you did it in service of other people, that you said, God, I maximize the time that I have here. I maximize the days that you've blessed me with. So let not your life be in vain. Act wisely, live wisely by knowing that your time here is limited. Make it count, make it matter. You know, there's gonna be two dates on your tombstone. The date that you were born and the date that you die. What matters is that hyphen in between and what you did with that space, with that short, limited time. Make it count, make it matter. Remember 9-11.